Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Space News Pod. This is a show about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. I'm your host, Will Walden, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about SN20, Ship 20. We're going to be talking about Booster 4. We're going to be talking about the Starship launch site at Boca Chica Star Base, Texas. We're also going to be talking about a little bit more SpaceX news, but there's some big stuff on the horizon for uh, Ship 20 and Booster 4, and we have some evidence to back that up. Now, I want to show you this real quick. So we know what's going to be happening in the next few days here at Starbase. I'm in Brownsville, Texas. I'm about 20 minutes away from Starbase. I go down there almost every day. But let me show you this. The road closure for yesterday, March 2nd, Wednesday, was canceled. Okay, so we know that's a thing. That didn't happen. The secondary date today, March 3rd, 2022, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., canceled. Not canceled. Sorry. The closure is still scheduled. <laughs> sorry, I was reading that. Uh, Friday closure scheduled from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. and they do the closure really early that day so people can enjoy the beach for the weekend. People were complaining about this. I've seen people in person talk about this and complain about it. So I understand why they do it really early till four o'clock in the afternoon. Then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, so we know that they have some road closures scheduled and they're long road closures. They're all day and almost all night. It's a 12 hour road closure happening. So we know that there's going to be some stuff happening at Starbase. Okay, so there was a cryogenic test of booster four the other day. And, you know, we have to think about some things that are happening. Uh, booster four needed to do the cryogenic test, but also with booster four's cryo test, they also cryogenically filled the methane tanks for the booster. And that's a really big deal for Starship and Starbase and for Booster 4 and the Orbital Launch Integration Tower and all the tanks. Okay, so they did the cryogenic test, but also one thing that they did the other night, one thing that they did that was kind of, uh, it kind of shows what's going to be happening in the future possibly. They moved the lift arms, the chopsticks, from their full height all the way down to where they would attach to Ship 20, SN20. Now, this is, a, this is an important thing, right? So we have to get ship 20 to those arms. And I think this is what's going to be happening in the next few days. And I want you all to let me know what you think is going to be happening in the next few days to the next week. Okay, so they also had, other than that cryo test, and that's a huge deal, a cryo test for that. And it was totally successful, looked great. Now, there were three things that happened over the last few days that were super important for a possible huge deal for Starship again. This may be happening in the next week or so. So Starship is moved with these things called SPMTs. And I want to show you what an SPMT kind of looks like. One of these things. That's a trailer, right? So you can put these things together. Like, they're like Lego. You can snap them together and somebody's behind it working a, working a remote, basically, and driving these things. And they're huge and they're long and they're really really slow what do you do with those things you put a ship on them you put a ship you put something heavy you put something big on them ship 20 can move on the spmts right and they added some weights as well to these spmts because ships are heavy so spmt has 12 weights on it and they moved to the launch site 13 hours ago from from now and it's 11 o'clock on 3-3-2022, possibly to move the ship towards the chopsticks, okay? So Starbase Deliveries on Twitter had that information, and they uh, they saw it on Lab Padre's stream, and they posted it up, and I was like, ooh, what is this? Okay, so and I knew this happened, but I, I was uh, kind of waiting for some more information to come in before kind of showing you guys what's going on. So they had two more SPMTs, going to the launch site. So now there's three at the launch site. So we have two SPMTs that moved, and now we have three that moved. So what's gonna be happening at the launch site? So there's two things that could be happening, right? Um, and I want you to tell me, I wanna have a discussion in the comments below about what you think is gonna happen. There's two things that I think could happen here. They're going to be moving ship 20 closer to the chopsticks, and when they get it closer to the chopsticks, they will reattach ship 20 to the chopsticks 
then they will lift ship 20 on top of booster 4 and they're going to uh, attach ship 20 to booster 4 and they're going to do a full cryogenic test article to ship 20 booster 4 in the orbital launch integration tower in stage 0 of uh, starship so also you know we have to do the cryogenically cryogenic filling of booster 4 again so a methane uh, booster filling would be another great step forward so they may be doing that first again they may be doing another test of that or they may be stacking ship 20 on top of booster 4. so let me know in the comments if you think that's going to be a thing also this is another thing that may be a little bit controversial for some people what if they were like oh okay we're not going to use ship 20. we're not going to use booster 4. so these spmts these giant rigs uh they could be moving ship 20 away from the launch pad they could be moving it to the rocket garden and booster four they may be doing the same thing they don't really have uh that some people are saying they don't really have a reason to keep ship 20 and booster four around because they have better technology in newer rockets right elon has said so many times he wants ship 420 full stack to launch for the orbital flight test now by the end of this month the faa uh, will have made or by march i should say by the end of march yeah they should have a uh a uh, recommendation if spacex can fly ship 20 and uh, booster 4 for the orbital flight test now if they can then ship 20 and 4 uh, ship 20 and uh, booster 4 possibly could fly or great turn of events here they could put a better ship in a better booster down there and start testing those things out instead because they have a month to do all this stuff and these could be a pathfinder ship 20 and booster 4 could be a pathfinder for a newer ship and a newer booster because we do have those in this uh uh rocket garden here so we have plenty of rockets we have plenty and we have one booster right so uh ship uh, 15 and 16 not going to fly booster fives down there possibly fly and ship 20 franken ship i'll just call it is down there and that's it's possible that'll fly so just take a look at this stuff take a look at the, this evidence let me know what you think um i'm guessing a full stack with cryogenic test possible full wet dress you know get get close to that uh, but more than likely full cryogenic test of ship 20 stacked on top of booster four in the next week so let me know what you think in the comments let's have a conversation i want to know what you what you know that maybe i missed because i think that would be it's great to learn basically is what i'm saying so thanks everybody for watching i appreciate your time and make sure to sub and make sure to check out starshipshirts.com that's our new merch store with everything starship in it so thanks guys bye